With the threat of widespread flooding, not just here in East Texas, but across the state, the Texas Division of Emergency Management has state resources on standby. KTK's Adrian Kanowski tells us right now how East Texas counties are gearing up for the heavy rainfall look. With rain in East Texas to begin our week, the Texas Division of Emergency Management is partnering up with state and local authorities to monitor weather conditions. The, the National Weather Service is telling us, based on the recent forecasting, that they're now forecasting more rain for East Texas than what was originally anticipated. The Longview Fire Department is also preparing for any potential flooding. We've got several areas in the city that we know uh, will ultimately uh, flood. Uh, we do have barricades. TDEM says the key is for people to always be weather aware. Those weather threats include heavy rainfall and what comes down must go somewhere, right? So there's potential for flash flooding, for river flooding. Over in Smith County, emergency management coordinators are already keeping an eye on flood prone areas. Right now, the, the flooding is expected to be uh, primarily around the Sabine River area. So that'll be us and you know, Wood County to our north. Regardless of the threat, water rescue teams are already on standby. Our water resource team uh, will be kept locally right now. Advising people to avoid driving if you can, but if you hit the roads, turn around and don't drown. We have responders and meteorologists working around the clock to make sure that Texans stay safe through these weather threats. Keeping East Texans safe through every severe weather condition. Avery Klanowski, KETK News. And as we gear up for potential flooding this week, make sure to download the East Texas Storm Team app. You can do it right now by scanning the code on your screen. Get current conditions, track rain on our radar, and send us your photos and videos safely all in one place. Look for it in your phone's app store.